Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Today marks the day of the first beta of Firefox version 3.0. And uh, I will say up front, I am not a huge Firefox user. I do support Firefox in the sense that I believe it's good to have more than one browser on your desktop. You know, keeps competition healthy. Uh, I, I'll admit it as well that I use Firefox to run the live stream at ustream.tv. That's what makes this live video stream possible. Uh, but on the Mac, my primary browser is now Safari 3 because it's fast and for the most part, it's it's pretty darn good. I gotta I gotta admit. I didn't think it was possible with Safari 2, but Apple's done a lot with WebKit and Safari 3. That's definitely one to watch. It's fast. Uh, now on Windows, I'm still using Maxton 1.0. I know they released Maxton 2.0, but it's, I don't think they made very good decisions with it. Um, maybe when Firefox 3 is released, I'll you know switch you know all out. I don't know if I'm willing to switch to a beta of Firefox 3. Uh, but certainly when it goes final, I'll be a lot more interested. One of the biggest improvements that they've done in Firefox 3 is made the application uh, look more like the operating system that it's running on top of, more like a native app. And even though they haven't integrated this code into the beta cycle yet, it's certainly coming. And that's something I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to. I mean, it, it doesn't look horrible on OS 10. It doesn't look horrible on Windows either, but one of the things that Firefox has always seemed to struggle with, and even Mozilla to a larger degree, uh, is UI and cohesiveness and, and really melting into the experience of the entire operating system. So it'll look more, and I, I realize it may not make sense now, but instead of having really funky controls, uh, it will be more like a, a native Windows app or a native Linux app or a native app on top of OS X. Uh, I downloaded it, uh, gave it a, a whirl, and you know I, I, I've noticed a few bugs, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, bugs that I didn't see in Firefox 2. Some people say that now Firefox 3, even this first beta, um, runs sites that uh, it couldn't run on before. Uh, and uh, that's, that's good to hear, especially those that uh, say that they couldn't get into sites that were only designed for IE, Internet Explorer from Microsoft. They say that Firefox 3 Beta 1, they can get into them. Uh, but I thought I'd run down a list of uh, you know, some of the, the enhancements that they made. And this was linked off of Asa Dotzler's blog. And I know Asa, good guy. I love Asa. He spoke at Gnome Dex 5, met him before then. Uh, he's a really good guy. I mean, if, if there's anybody to know inside the entire Mozilla operation, yeah, I know everyone, Mitchell, doing a great job. Every developer doing an awesome job, but I love Asa. He is my kind of geek. Uh, so, uh, some of the things they list on Mozilla's website in terms of what's new uh, in Firefox 3. One-click site info. So the idea is you can click the fav icon and get information about the website that you're on, which could help if you you think you're on one website when in fact you're on another. Um, malware protection. Uh, there's now, uh, malware protection warns users when they arrive at sites which are known to install viruses, spyware, trojans, or other malware. That is awesome. That is like the number one reason. Now, some people would say that's like censorship, but that I think is the number one reason to run Firefox, uh, giving it to someone who doesn't necessarily know what they're doing uh, with a browser. That's, to me, that's not censorship. That's awesome. I wish a, a browser did that today, and it looks like a browser will be doing that soon. Of course, if you're running on OS X, then installing viruses, spywares, uh, Trojans, and other malware is, is, is a uh, relatively small possibility. Uh, new SSL error pages, clear and stricter error pages. Um, the add-ons and plug-in version check. Firefox now automatically checks add-on and plug-in versions and will disable older and secure versions. I, I, I think they mean to say unsecure versions because an insecure version of software, I don't know, I, am I ready? I don't know. I, I thought it was, I, I, I thought it was ready. I didn't know. I, I maybe, may, I'll, I'll come back later. Is, is it fine? I'll come back later. I, I don't know. I, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. I don't, tell me, am I right? Am I wrong? Am I good? Do, do I look good? Do I look good today? I don't know. Am I, am I okay? Do I look okay? That would be an insecure. <laughs> oh, okay, Asa, that one. I, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to send this video on, but that's great. That's, an, that's what an insecure piece of software sounds like. Uh, secure add-on updates, antivirus integration, Vista parental control integration, if you're running Windows Vista. Now, they claim it's easier to use, easier password management. 
an information bar replaces the old password dialog so you can now save passwords after a successful login. That's awesome. Because if you ever, you know, gone to a site, you typed in a password, it says, hey, do you want to save it? And you say yes, and then you realize, oh, that's the wrong password. You stored the wrong password. Now, that trips after you've entered a successful password. Awesome. Uh, simplified add-on installation, new download manager, thank God. Uh, remo resumable downloading for the win. Full page zoom, tab scrolling and quick menu, uh, which makes tabs easier to locate. Uh, save what you were doing. Firefox will now prompt users to save tabs on exit. In fact, when you do that, not only will it save the tabs, but the position you were on each particular page. Huh? That's beautiful. Uh, location and search bar size can now be customized. Uh, text selection improvements. Multiple text selections can be made with control and command, or I should say control or command. Uh, double click drag selects word by word mode. Triple clicking selects a paragraph. The find toolbar now opens with the current selection. Um, integration with uh, Vista, as I said, I mean, they, like I said, they're doing more work to make the apps, uh, you know, seem like native apps rather than apps that were d developed by an open source community that just write, run, write once, run anywhere. And, and that's that's my biggest uh, complaint about open source software is a lot of it seems to lack that elegance that you might see in a fully finished commercial app. Which isn't to say that commercial apps look all that great. In fact, I've seen a lot better looking open source or free apps than I have shareware. There's a, you know, obviously exceptions to every rule, but I, again, I'm just saying that they're doing their best to make it seem like a program that was designed to run on that operating system. And it looks like it was built with the operating system in mind. More personal, uh, star button, quickly add bookmarks from the location bar with a single click. Tags, associate keywords with your bookmarks. Location bar and autocomplete. Smart places folder, bookmarks and history organizer. Uh, so they, they further enhance that. Uh, Web-based protocol handlers, which means that you can, uh, inside of Firefox, you can configure when you click this type of link, which program opens or how does Firefox react. It's a nice configuration tool to have in there. Uh, and, and, and you can, in, at least inside of Vista, you can you, there's a, a tool built in the operating system, but having it inside the browser specifically makes it even easier for you to access. Uh, let's see here. New graphics and font handling, uh, text rendering architectures in Gecko 1.9, which is the underlying um, structure upon which uh, Firefox is based, provides rendering improvements for CSS, SVG, as well as improved display of fonts with ligatures and complex scripts. Basically, things are going to look better and going to be more compatible with standards that are already out there on the web. Native web page forms, uh, color management, offline support, uh, increased performance, they say, reliability. Uh, all your bookmarks, history, cookies, preferences are now stored in a tra transactionally secure database format, which will prevent data loss even if your system crashes. Uh, they say that there's major architectural changes underneath uh, and uh, let's see here, put foundations in place for major performance tuning, which have resulted in speed increases in beta one. We'll show further gains in future beta releases. Over 300 individual memory leaks have been plugged, and a new XPCOM cycle collector uh, completely eliminates many more. Wow. Developers are continuing to work on optimizing memory use. So it seems like it's going to be a very solid release, even beta one. Uh, seemed okay in the limited time that I was using it on this particular Vista machine. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you, if you uh, really like uh, throwing yourself into the world of beta software, Firefox Beta 1 is available right now. Of course, by the time you watch this, the Firefox final version would be available, and every one of these points that I reviewed is, is pretty much uh, what you're going to find in the final Firefox 3 product as well. So let me ask you this. Are you a Firefox user? Are the features that I listed off making you want to switch from your current browser to Firefox? I know there are some of you out there who like Opera. Some of you are still stuck on, I mean, you still use Internet Explorer. Uh, you know, I, I, as I've said, Safari, I think, is coming into its own, most certainly, even on Windows. It's fast. Uh, but certainly on OS X, I use uh, pretty much uh, Safari uh, constantly. And if I run into an issue, then I use uh, Firefox instead of Safari. Uh, but let me know what browser you use or if you're looking forward to Firefox 3. Is it something that you're ready to get your parents moved over to yet? I know we talked about that a couple months ago. Uh, email me, chris at perillo.com. Maybe you've developed a plugin we can share with the rest of the community for uh, 
you know, Firefox or a theme that looks pretty good. Love to take a look. You're also welcome to embed this video if you'd like to share the Firefox love or spread the word, if you will. And you can swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. We are fully compatible with Firefox. Three seems to have a few issues, but we'll wait till that goes final before I make any code changes. Uh, regardless, you can still view us in your browser window no matter which browser you happen to be using. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.